the forecast was for heavy snow this morning. I've just woken up to rain, which is really annoying. You're such a legend. This has become a part of my daily routine. And I quite enjoy it because it's quite satisfying. It's really good as well, isn't it? Becky doing the condensation. What? There's so much condensation upstairs. Yeah, I'm going to just... It's like so satisfying. Why do people put keys in um, window handles? Whoever locks their windows? You so have to do it when you go away on a it? Yeah, but why would you lock it though? You can't get in anyway. I don't understand it. Like it every, must be a reason. Every window has like a lock. Don't get it. Every All of our windows have a key. Yeah, here. Some of them we've taken out. But they're really annoying, so you can't push the button. I think, like, I think they're, they're probably all the same key as well, so you could probably just like throw away all the keys apart from maybe two or three. I don't know. I'm gonna have some breakfast anyway. I keep my boots and my waterproofs in the van. Oh, so they don't clutter up the house. I think it's about two degrees, so it's literally like on the cusp of being cold enough to snow, but without snowing. Ready for a walk? Cold. You got the puffiest coat ever, you can't be cold. <laughs> right, we need to go to El Tumble Dry Row, chuck this in, um, and then we'll be on our way. Huh? Feels so tight. Is it? So strong. Feels like <laughs> it's never gonna come off. <laughs> Can you see any deer? No. Camera is getting absolutely soaked at the moment. Weather's horrible. Oh, I'd put it away for you. Yeah, I'm gonna put it away. Good. We'll see you when we get back. Um, because yeah, I'm kind of hiding under a bush at the moment so the camera doesn't get wet. Where is he? Where is he? Where is it? Where is it, Diggs? Where is it? What's out there? Is it a doggy? Is there another doggy? Somewhere. Or is it a bird? Is it a birdie? Or is it a doggy? Is it a birdie? Or is it a doggy? <laughs> I think my drink's nearly done though. I don't want it to be too hot, just nice and warm. Can you stop barking now? Can you stop barking now? Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, it's a bit hot. Oh, I've got Digby hair in my drink. We're having um, problems with condensation. Um, obviously we knew we were going to get condensation and we bought the the vacuum thing which is really good um, at doing the windows but there just seems to be just condensation everywhere um, in places I didn't even realize you could get condensation well I wouldn't say it was everywhere when it's in like the bathroom isn't that surprising yeah I mean the bathroom's obviously not surprising yes the bathroom's just like soaked everywhere and it doesn't um, just doesn't like dry because it's so cold outside, it's got like three outside walls and obviously the floor as well. And the only heating we have in there is the, um, the towel rail, which is usually used for drying towels and everything. So everything in the bathroom just stays wet, like constantly. Um, and there's little pockets um, around the house that are getting moisture as well. So we're thinking that we're gonna have to get some form of dehumidifier or something. Um, Get the big dehumidifier, yeah. but then also get those small cheap ones with crystals in them yeah. and just leave them at the back of the toilet. Yeah, yeah, we have to because that's like the worst bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that, but we're thinking of getting like a 
proper dehumidifier, like an energy efficient one. Um, and then some of those like salt crystal pop things to go behind the toilet because it's like a really awkward place there and it just gets really wet and never dries. We are trying to keep windows cracked for ventilation, but when it gets cold, um, yeah, we kind of want to close them because it gets a bit too cold. But we want to kind of like solve the problem now before anything gets too bad, um, because obviously this house is made out of wood. We don't want anything to start rotting or go mouldy or anything. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to get some dehumidifiers and try and dry this place out a little bit. And also some of the dehumidifiers say they're quite good at um, drying laundry. So last night we had um, laundry drying in here and we took it to the tumble dryer this morning to like finish it off. Um, and that's obviously exacerbated everything, um, which you would expect obviously. So this is kind of a good example of condensation that we're having at the moment. Um, this is a bit of a strange example actually because this light doesn't actually fit in that hole particularly well and where there's been a gap um, for the light sort of like that we'll do let's get out of the way um, condensation has basically gone up into this hole um, and the hole inside of there which is basically the main roof is um, quite wet so I'm just trying to dry it out with a heater um, and then I'll try and get that light back in there. I might have to like silicon it or something um, to make sure that the moisture can't get in there. <sighs> I mean, that's pretty dry now to be honest. But it was really wet this morning. And we were getting a little bit worried that the um, wood was gonna start going a bit mouldy up there, but got the heater going. So hopefully that's gonna dry out. Um, we've just ordered a dehumidifier um, which I think is going to be the best solution. We did talk briefly about getting a log burner because obviously that would um, suck a lot of moisture out of the air and probably cure a lot of the problems. Um, but obviously getting a log burner is quite a big thing because obviously we have to drill a hole in the wall. Um, and yeah, I don't really think that's the best solution. Plus they're very expensive as well um, to get them all fitted and everything. Um, so we've got a dehumidifier and we've got a couple of moisture traps that we're going to put in the bathroom and we're just thinking as well that if we have the dehumidifier next to the washing when we hang washing up then I think the one that we've got says it costs around about three pence an hour um, which is obviously really good but if it saves us spending like seven pounds a week on the tumble dryer down in the laundry then that will kind of like pay for itself quite quickly um, so yeah I think that's going to arrive on Monday and hopefully um, that should make a big difference with condensation. So Becky's down there playing PlayStation. I think Joss is having lunch. Down there. Should I drop something on him? Drop something on him. Drop a teddy on him. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. <laughs> the other thing as well is because Joss doesn't have a door on his bedroom yet it's just kind of like an opening we do need to like sort our door at some point but we'll get around to that another time um, when he's playing on his Xbox he makes so much noise and it's really annoying so what we've done is we've set up the van um, so Joss can go in the van and play Xbox in the van and it actually works really well because we've got the diesel heater in there so although it's really cold at the moment um, it's nice and warm and we've basically just plugged the main light plug-in for the van into the outside plug that we have on a tiny house um, so everything in there has got full electricity the TV's in there, Xbox is in there he's got the, the duvet, there's like four pillows in there I don't think he's got the bed like all the way out um, he could put food in the fridge if he wanted to but he's got everything set up at the moment look there goes the cable, plugging in over there and that's just this little gaming one there. But I think we're all getting a little bit fed up of the lockdown we're in at the moment. I don't know what you guys are in at the moment. If you're in England, then obviously you know what's going on. Um, other countries, I don't know how you're handling everything, but we're basically in a national lockdown, so we can't go anywhere, we can't see anybody. We can't really do anything. 
Um, and I don't think that's going to change probably until March, which is like another six weeks away. Um, which is kind of, yeah, I think everybody's getting a bit fed up of it now. Um, I'm still waiting for Christmas dinner when I'm allowed to go around my mum's again. Um, but yeah, don't know when that's going to be. Um, it's a bit too wet to go skateboarding today. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, just kind of just chilling out in the tiny house, really. Can think of worse places to be, but we're just plodding along um, and making the best of a difficult situation, I suppose. I'm going to reconnect the underfloor heating mat in the bathroom to see if it works because we had the main mat in here replaced and the bathroom mat has just been disconnected. There's a little access hatch over here and this is basically where the mats connect to the power source. Um, so I'm going to open that and see if I can con connect it together. I think it'll be quite straightforward. Um, obviously I'm going to turn the power off first so I don't electrocute myself. Um, but yeah, going to see if I can do it. Right, power is off. I have done like basic electrics before. I'm not qualified or anything, but if it's as simple as just wiring a plug or something, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I don't know if you can see very well. This white cable is the power coming from the switch and then the blue and brown ones are um, what goes down to the mat. So the main mat's connected here and here and I just need to find the other one. I don't know where it is though. Oh, there's one of them. These two cables here are for the bathroom mat. Um, I haven't got any more slack on them so I'm going to have to try and cut them where they are. Um, where are my wire cutters? So not too complicated, we've basically got these two clips. Um, this one's got all the blues, this one's got all the browns. Um, one of them is the main power coming in and the other two are for both heating mats. Um, so hopefully now that I've connected all three, um, I guess we'll turn it on and see if everything trips or whether the heating comes on or not. That's the fuse, and then that's the power. I just gave the dog a quick shower after taking him out for a walk, and as soon as I turned on the shower and the water pump came on, um, all the electricity cut out and the RCD is tripped. Um, so obviously that is a problem with the underfloor heating in the bathroom, which is really annoying because the floor is actually quite nice and warm in there now. If you touch the floor in the bathroom, it's really warm. Um, but it's tripped the RCD again, which uh, just leads me to believe that there's something wrong with the mat. I don't know what it is. It's, um, yeah, it's a bit strange, but I've had to disconnect the mat in the bathroom, unfortunately, which is really annoying because the floor is nice and warm in there now. Um, we did think about leaving it on to see if it does it again, but it's just going to do it again and it's really annoying when all the electrics cut out. Um, Joss came running in because his Xbox turned off straight away because all the power's gone. But yeah, main mat is still working, thankfully. I thought for a minute that I'd fixed it, um, but yeah, <sighs> how annoying. But that's pretty much going to do it for today guys. It's well, it's not eight minutes past 12 anymore. I don't actually have a clue what the time it is. I think it's like seven o'clock at night. But for the rest of today, we're just gonna watch some telly, um, maybe have some cornflakes, and then go to bed. So, hope you enjoyed the video today. Safe drive, stay alive, have a lovely day. Do you wanna say goodbye, Dix? Do you wanna say goodbye? Should we say goodbye? Should we say goodbye? Should we say bye-bye? Ooh. Bye.